All right, I think I'm ready to get this thing welded. I got it all cleaned up. I just used my uh, Baldor wire wheel, cleaned it all, wire brushed the inside of the tube and the flange there, so we should be good. Hopefully it's not gonna have any contaminants pull up through there. All right, got her set up on the positioner here. I have got it as square as I can eyeball it, and as Jimmy says, if it looks square, or if it looks straight, it is straight. And that's gonna be good enough right there so what we'll do we'll start off I'm gonna do a preheat I got my torch ready right here we're gonna get a preheat and get it nice and warm and then I want to do a tack I'll probably just try to tack you know each side of it see if we can get two good tacks on it and then I'll focus on trying to go around it it actually might be a little bit easier if I was to tilt this thing down 90 degrees and maybe uh, you know weld where I'm where I'm welding down uh, but I don't know yet. We might we may go around and try it. Also, I did not bevel the pipe uh, It's lining up close enough to where I think I can just flow it all together right there where it's at Try to focus more of my heat on the thicker part, which is going to be the tube itself You know and then just try to flow it into the bottom flange there. So we'll see so let me get fired up here and uh, See if we can get this going. We're going to be using the uh, Everlast. This is the power tig 200 and I, I ran some test welds over here on the vise with some quarter inch thick aluminum just trying to get everything set up i'm using a number five cup here we're using the little stubby kit that i got from jody uh e3 tungsten 332nd tungsten there and it was working real good for the uh, quarter inch aluminum at 180 amp there i am going to be using the uh, finger switch to do this because uh, i just can't run two pedals at the same time while i'm standing up I need to build a setup with this where I can sit down on a stool and be able to use both of my feet, you know, one for the positioner and one for the uh, one for the torch there. But I think we're going to be able to do it, I hope anyway. So I think that was all I was going to say about that. Let's get started. <laughs> got it tacked and it does not look pretty. <laughs> I think that's some dirty aluminum so we may be doing some cleaning on this thing. I'm worried that maybe not even aluminum. I hope it's not magnesium. Just looking it doesn't look clean it looks like dirty aluminum I think I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can go around it and start getting some weld on it just like it is all right is not working out too well for me it's just not looking pretty at all This is 
what happens when you try to do it on the real thing and you and you're just you know you take clean aluminum and you weld it and you get it perfect and then you come over here to a part like this and then it screws it up I just don't like that at all torch from being able to come around there comfortably. Looks like I'm going to have a lot of grinding to do on this one right here. <laughs> that is just pathetic, pitiful looking. I promise you I can do a lot better job than on aluminum than that looks like there. I, I think we I think we might be messing up and we don't have a good piece of aluminum that we're trying to weld here. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take this down and um, I'm gonna do some grinding on it, try to remove some of this bead that I put in there and uh, go after it again and see if I can get it to flow. good. All right, here's a better look at what we're dealing with with the water neck. I was trying to uh, grind out the joint there where I welded it in. And you can see just all the porosity down in there. As some places where I'm grinding, it's just opening it up into a bunch of, you know, holes down inside there. This part right here actually looks pretty decent. It might have flowed in good there, but, you, you know, it tried to blow in right here. Way too hot. So this is all screwed up on the back side. I really, I really don't think that we're going to be able to save this. I, I just don't know. I'm going to... I'm gonna to try to weld it one more time, but if it's doing the same exact thing that it's doing right there, I'm just gonna to have to call, I'm gonna to have to throw the flag on it on my end, and uh, maybe I just don't know what I'm doing with this, but you know, I, I know how to weld aluminum. I mean, here's a, there's a, there's some aluminum where I was running beads right there, okay? Quarter inch thick aluminum. So this should have welded. That's why I'm wondering if this is magnesium instead of aluminum, because I know I know from past experience trying to weld magnesium and it did this right here. say that it's looking a little bit better I'm trying not to overheat it here it was going really good until that part right there now it doesn't want to flow in there like the rest of it did I might have to grind it again it was starting to look kind of promising. Let's see if I can get past it. That first side right there was is looking promising. So I think what I'm going to do is just grind right right in the middle of the bead. Just try to grind it down, remove some of it, clean this out some more. And I might be able to lay some fresh aluminum 
I think this side right here is going to be good. So I'm only going to focus on half of it where it, it might have been getting too hot. That might have been the problem there as well. I got to regrind my tungsten because the aluminum's on it now. All right, so I'll let this thing cool off. And uh, what, I, what I've got going on here is I have aluminum. So I've been saying that I, I hope it's not magnesium. Well, I forgot that when you, I've only run into magnesium one time. And I forgot that whenever you try to weld magnesium, it's green. <clears throat> You'll see green flash everywhere. So I actually talked to my buddy Joe down at the welding shop about this. And he gave me some uh, pointers because this is the kind of stuff he deals with every day down there at his job shop, you know, welding shop. And you can see this side, I started flowing it in real good. It was looking real good right here. And what's happening is it's getting too hot as I was coming around again for the second time. And... <clears throat> This is probably really poor quality cast aluminum because this is the kind of stuff that happens when you have a really poor quality cast that you're trying to weld. It has a lot of impurities in it. And as you weld and you get it and it's getting really hot, you're trying to pull those impurities up, which is what's happening there. So the hotter you get, the worse it actually gets there. So what Joe recommended I do, like this was a lot cooler right here. I think when I first started off, I had this way too hot to start with. And I had the amperage too high for this, but I was overestimating what I should have been doing with this. We're going to weld it cold instead of getting the preheat. I'm going to go ahead and regrind this, especially where the impurities are right there. Okay, we're going to regrind it and I'm going to go through here and weld it again. I'll start on this side right here and try to weld this side. And what Joe recommended you do is weld it low amperage try to weld it not cold but just try to weld it as low as you can small beads around it and keep the heat down he says weld some and then let it cool down then run another bead over there and that usually will help clear that up instead of continuing to pull the impurities away from the other material up into your weld there so that's what we're going to do it, it may take several passes around this to uh to get this thing welded up and I'm not going to continue to film the whole thing, but I'll give you some highlights. And I'm hoping that we will end up getting this thing welded and looking somewhat like this uh, area right there. Okay, so that's what we're going to work on. And then once I do, I'll re I'll repolish all this to try to make this look more uniform uh, before we before we finish it out. I'm also going to get in there and use my grinder and grind this little hump of aluminum down out of that so it don't affect the thermostat once it goes in there. And I'm hoping we can get this accomplished without too much, too much more fuss. Just did some more grinding on uh, over half of it there where the, uh, the bad area was looking. I left the good side there. I think I'm gonna leave this alone and see if we can get this side welded up. But we may have to grind it out again. Let's go for it though. starting to flow really good and I can tell that it's getting hot so I'm going to stop and give it a couple minutes to let it cool down and uh, continue on over to this side right there. It's letting it cool I can tell that it's getting hot really fast again so that's what I'm going to have to continue to do. It's flowing in a lot better now so I know that I'm on the right track. I think I pretty well got it welded, but there's a couple little pinholes here and there. So I'm trying to go back in there and like flow them in and try to close in those little tiny holes that I'm seeing. Well, 
Well, there's our finished up Mopar water neck for Alex. This one uh, gave me a lot of trouble, but we were managed to, we managed to get the thing done. I'm not particularly proud of the uh, welding job that I've got on here, but it is welded now. It has flown in there, and I think that we're going to have a good water neck that's not going to leak anyway. Okay, so it's uh, it's been a while since I've had to mess with any poor quality cast aluminum welding. So, you know, the tips that Joe gave me on uh, keeping the amperage down low and welding short stringer beads and grinding it, welding it, just keeping short beads and keeping the heat out of it, I think that really worked well for me and uh, getting the job completed. I would have liked to have gone in there and uh, put like another bead in that sort of that corner, a fillet in there, but the more that you go in there and try to weld that this original casting there, the more porosity you're going to be pulling out of there and you're just going to be chasing your tail trying to get it all out. So I just tried to stay focused in this joint area where we were trying to fuse it together, uh, weld it, grind it, and weld it again, and that seemed to work good. So I just went in there and just tried to polish up the, the flange face there with some Scotch-Brite. And then on the back side here, I went in. I went inside with the carbide grinder and ground this area out here where it had tried to, you know, blow through and fall out. It had a little bulge there. I wanted to make sure there was no clearance issues. There was two other little spots in here that I hit it with the grinder as well, just to make sure that we had suitable clearance. And in the bottom of the flange, I uh, I, I hit it on my lapping plate. I got my sandpaper and just hand lapped it and made sure we had a nice uh, flat flange face there for that. So it should pull down nice and flat. I'm sure he's going to have a gasket underneath that. And he'll probably just put some paint on it, paint it black or whatever, and, you know, and, and it really won't be seen much. So this is the kind of stuff. I just haven't had any cast aluminum welding jobs like this in quite a while. So if you don't do this kind of stuff every day, you know, you got to knock the cobwebs off and figure out what, what you're doing wrong and the right processes to get it done. So I think we got it done, and uh, I'm sure Alex is going to be happy. He's got, this is one, one small step close for him to getting his Valiant on the road. I know he was waiting on this, and he's got some other little things that he's having to do to the car. You know, I think electronics and gauges and stuff like that. And he should be able to get this thing on the road pretty soon. So, anyway, we're going to get this boxed up and send it over to him. And check out his channel, The Gas Tap. He's got a lot of videos on showing building the car. And uh, he should have some videos coming up very soon of the first time driving it. So, I'm looking forward to it. So, Getting it on its way. Hopefully you enjoyed that little project. I had some learning lessons there myself. And we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>